Proverbs 21, wine is a mocker, strong drink is a brawler, and whoever is led astray by it is not wise. Recently, Maribel and I visited Nashville, Tennessee, also known as Music City for its connection to being the production center for the country music scene. One of the places to visit in Nashville is Lower Broadway, a place that is home to gift shops and restaurants, but is primarily known for its honky-tonks, a type of bar playing live country music. Of course, being a bar scene, alcohol flows freely, with even a bar where patrons hop onto a giant pedal bike and pedal up and down Lower Broadway while imbibing on spirits. With so much alcohol available, it is obvious that many of the people are definitely under the influence of the alcohol. Watching people attempting to dance would be humorous, were it not saddening when realizing the large police and security presence is to maintain order should the inebriated state of many lead to brawls. Many stories in the Bible tell of the eternal results of drunkenness. Noah's drunkenness led to Ham's dishonoring of his father and bearing a mark of this curse for the rest of his life. Lot's daughters were able to get their father drunk and committed incest with him creating the nations of Moab and Ammon. These two nations continued to trouble Israel throughout their existence. Nadab and Abihu, in an intoxicated state, kindled their own fire to place in the censers while ministering in the tabernacle and were burned up by the fire of the Lord. It is implied that Hopni and Phinehas got women who visited the temple drunk so they could have sex with them, as Eli criticized Hannah thinking her deep sorrow was a state of drunkenness. It was Xerxes' drunken festival which caused him to desire Vashti to present herself as a sexual object for his officials which led to her refusal and subsequent banishing. The list goes on, but hopefully it is clear. Alcohol is not a friend, nor should it be desired. In, the, in his love and care, our Father reveals this truth time and time again. Alcohol is not a friend. It cannot be consumed socially, and there are people who are trapped in its cruel grip who need prayer and compassion to overcome it. Father, it is clear that alcohol is a result of sin's effects on this world. Thank you for providing words and stories of warning in the scriptures so that I can make right choices today regarding how I want to live. Amen.